All right, kiddos, I'm going to show you how to take uh, the image you've chosen for your puzzle, um, and I'm going to show you how to actually um, get Inkscape to render um, the, the the jigsaw puzzle, all the pieces for you. So um, it's, a, it's a really handy um, extension that is, that is in the program. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit on my image here, and you can see um, I've chosen Washington Monument. This is actually a photo I took myself um, several years ago. It was kind of a cool uh, um, trip I went on with my dad. But um, anyway, so I've got uh, my image. Now you can see my document, the size of my document, um, the white sheet behind the picture here, um, is actually eight and a half inches. Um, wide, or you might think of it as tall, by 14 inches long. That's the sheet of paper that I will have printed my puzzle on. Um, but my image, in keeping it proportional so that the Washington Monument's not all squished or extra wide or um, anything like that, uh, does not fill the full page. Uh, that's fine, not a big deal. Um, but it is important um, if you only want the puzzle pieces to take up the, the image section here that you measure that and know uh, how, how big your image is. And so I have actually in the DIN here already printed my image and I know that um, again since my piece of paper is eight and a half inches um, wide or tall that, that the distance from here to the top to the bottom is eight and a half inches but the uh, image uh, the, the distance from the edge of the image here on the left to where I trimmed it and left a little bit of a white border on the side over here is actually 12 and 1 quarter inches. And that's an important piece of information that you're going to need. And you need to measure precisely. Don't round or you're going to have, you know, extra, um, extra white space or your puzzle pieces aren't going to quite turn out the way you want. So um, as I mentioned, we're going to use one of the extensions here in the software. So I go up to the extensions um, option and I'm going to go down here to render. And then look at here. There's an option for laser cut jigsaw. So I'm going to choose that and I get a new pop up. So my width is 12 and 1 quarter. Let me make sure I'm on yep, my units here says inches. That's important. So 12 point um, one, uh, 1 quarter inch in decimal is 0.25. And then I have a height of eight and a half. So I'm good there. Now I get to come here and I get to decide roughly how many pieces I want in my puzzle, um, which involves a little bit more math on on everyone's part, but that's not a huge deal. You can uh, use a calculator or just do it on a scratch piece of paper. 13 times 7 is going to give me a 91 piece puzzle, and that's that's pretty decent. I'm going to hit apply here and see um, how big my pieces are going to end up being. And I, I don't know if you can see it, but it, it popped up and it's very, very faint. That's because the stroke width um, on these lines is very small because we want it to be very small for the laser. So it's a little tricky to see, but that's that's pretty decent. My, my pieces, you want them to be in proportion. You don't want them really long and skinny or, or really squished, uh, unless perhaps you're making a puzzle for um, children. And I've, I've kind of decided in my mind that the, the, my audience for my puzzle here are kids, say your age, middle, middle school and up is, is basically what I'm thinking. So um, I'm actually, I'm going to play, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to delete this just to see. So I just clicked on it and I hit delete. I want to see what happens if I make it 15 by 9. Just for grins. Um, ooh, that got tiny. That got tinier than I think I want. So I think I'm going to go back um, to 13 by, let's see what happens if I go by 8. Oops, I'm going to have 2 now, so I forgot to delete it. That's okay. So the, the new one is on top, so I can just drag it down. The old one's back there. I'm going to delete it. Yeah, 13 by 8. Also fairly decent size pieces there. And um, that'd give me 108 pieces. 
and uh, I think I think I'm going to go with by eight. So I'm going to drag that down on top of my image here, just because I want to make sure it fits. I've got that I I entered everything because I don't know if you notice over here, but it bumped my 0.25 to 0.3. That just must have to do with um, when it renders the pieces, but it it, it still fits beautifully. Look, matches with the edge of my image, and I think. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm going to leave it at 13 by 8, so I can close this now. Now the trick is, um, I'm actually going to delete my image and bring um, bring my puzzle down. And the reason is um, um, is so that when I print it, remember when we open the file in with the laptop for the laser, we actually print this file. And I don't want the laser trying to think that I want it to laser engrave that that image um, that I've chosen as my puzzle. All I want to do is vector cut these pieces. I want the laser to just cut out these pieces. I don't want to do anything with that background image. So I've got my pieces here. So I'm going to go up, and you can see here um, at the very, very top, I think my, my file name is Washington at Sunset. That's what I named my file, so it was easy to see. It was the SVG. Um, the Ink Inkscape file. And I'm going to go up here and I'm going to do save as because I want to keep that other file just in case anything goes haywire and I need to do this again. But I'm going to change the name since this is the actual pieces that go with that image. I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to add pieces as the name of my file. I'm going to press save. And that's it. That's how you render um, the, jigs the pieces for your jigsaw puzzle. So um, what you need to do now is, now that you've watched the video, is go back and do step-by-step um, -step follow and listen to the video um, a second time. So please let me know if you've got any questions. Have fun.